Wow. Somebody is getting a hell of a pounding. Three weeks. Three weeks, and look at the mess we're in, eh? <laughs> run. Adolf, run. Adolf, run. 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 Only trouble is he's running the wrong bloody way. Corp. Yes, Price. When... When are we heading for the beaches? I mean, we're miles from the coast and... Shh. Wait here. Price, get your ass here now! Make room! Make room! Watch. Ah. Right. Ah. Right. You got it? Yeah. Right. What's the damage, man? Ah. It's bullet wound to the right shoulder. Ah. Exit wound's about the size of a shilling. There's not much bleeding. It's not life threatening. What's your name, son? Brook Sergeant Preston. <gasps> Private Brook. Where is the rest of your unit? Private. Dead. All of them dead. We we held our position as long as we could. Down to the last round. Continue. Please. During the fire I was here and moved back back to an outpost. A few minutes later the firing stopped. Some of the injured men were crying out. The Germans bayoneted them where they lay. They were at SS. The crying stopped. Someone begged. Some tried to make some try to make a run for it. I decided to play dead. How do you manage that? Surely we're just going to be. Believe me, when you need to play dead, you play dead. I held my breath and shut my eyes. Felt like my soul was being branded, but I knew I had to stay still if I was to stand a chance. How many men were killed? Twenty, maybe. The rest of the company was rounded up and taken away. So I decided to make a run for it. I hope you and your men are ready, Sergeant. Because these Jerry's won't let you off lightly. Poor bastard. Escapes once, then he gets stuck here with us. Do you think the same could happen to us? I don't know. From what I can tell, though, it's only a matter of time before Jerry takes this place, whether we fight to the last man or not. You know what the size is like, though? Coke's ain't half the man he used to be. Right? He's changed. Something's happened to him since he landed over here. Richmond. Price. Cop. Yes, Corporal. We've opened battalion to the possible enemy patrol close by. Head to the forward observation post and check for any activity, then report back for Sergeant Coates. Stay low. Keep your wits about you, understood? Yes, Corp. Yes, Corp.
We all heard Brooke last night. The uh, enemy is determined and ruthless. We need to create a stronger line of defense. Sergeant. What is it, Private? Brooke's been given a second chance. We can't take that away from him. And what do you suggest, Private? We're miles from the coast, surrounded by Germans. What chance would he have? With respect, Sarge, a better one than being sat here. Let's face it, if he stays, he's a dead man. We are all dead men. Fighting a lost cause here, Alf. Look, I know we've got a duty to hold this position, but what good is getting ourselves killed going to do, eh? All we'll be doing is... delaying the inevitable. Okay, Richmond. What if we try and help Brooke? What happens then? We'd all have to hand ourselves in. What? After what they did? When I bumped into you lot, I was looking for the Wehrmacht. They're not all fanatics like the SS. Chances are we'd be safe surrendering to them. I know it's not great. It's better than certain death. We can't just leave. We have to stay and fight. The whole of the BEF is relying on us. We could hold them back as much as we can and then make a break for it when they're regrouping. Well, there's a plan. You say the regular army is our best bet? Yes, Sarge. Under the circumstances, it's our only bet. Okay. How much explosive do we have, Richmond? Not much. We've got some 808s the engineers left behind. I've got some Mills bombs. I can cobble something together. Carry on. I hope you're keeping well and hope to hear from you soon. Take care, my darling. From your loving wife, Elsie. <laughs> P.S. I hope you like the picture. Thought it might cheer you up on cold nights. May I? Sure. She is quite the looker. <laughs> How long have you been married? Four years now. You got a wife, Sarge? Oh, no. Not anymore. Any kids? Yes, two, Maggie and Stephen. Hmm. All grown up now. What about you? One on the way, due in two months. Congratulations. All right, I have to check on the rest of the men. You're a lucky man.
All right, Sarge. You all right, lads? Yes, Sarge. Not too bad. You haven't got any cigarettes on you, have you? <laughs> Always on the bloody scrounge. Stuka! Take cover! Everyone, get down! Get down! Is everyone all right? Sarge. Sarge! Charges are all set. Good work, Price. Now, where are they? Well, maybe they're not coming this way. If only. Hang about. I see movement. Okay. You know what to do. How close are they? Spitting distance of the observation post. Price should be here any second now. What the? Price. Price! Richmond! 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 Oh, no! You were a kid cop! Something! I said that's enough! Do something! Fall back to the barn! Now! No! Alf, Alf, we gotta move. Now! Go! Go! Can you handle the rifle? Yes, Corp. Good man. Take this. Get in that window overlooking the path. Go.
Alf. Alf. Listen to me. You have got to pull yourself together. Alf. Alf. Corp! Enemy sighted! Half a dozen of them coming up the path! Keep them pinned down! Alright, broke the charge to set. Tell me when. Now! Blow them now! <laughs> You're with me! Can you fix it? Give me a minute, cop. with a fucking invitation. Drop. Rock, come to pop! Ready to move. Ah, that sounds like too many of them. You'll make it. Oh. I can't go back. But your kids. They wouldn't recognize me anymore. At least this way, they'll have a father they can be proud of. Oh, I'm saying too. No. Oh, let's face it. I'm finished anyway. Plus, you use the company. <laughs> Richmond, help Corporal Hedges inside, then you and Brooks get ready to move out. Leave me the brand gun. Okay, go, go, go. You ready? As soon as I blow the charges, you need to move. Should give you enough time to get away. Ron. 